will toss it up. Isaiah White, Isaiah Whaley tried to say, and Evan Mobley jump it up, and USC control. So away we go. Good look inside. Peterson immediately with the 280. White, Mobley, Mobley, and Peterson. Worth noting, Ethan Anderson is not right. So far, so good. Yeah. Take me out. Peterson feed inside. Isaiah Mobley gives out to younger brother Evan. Jump stop, turns, flips it up, and in. It's just really smooth, isn't it? It's such a big time. Whaley jumper. That's too strong. Loose ball saved by White. Gets it to Mobley. And it's USC basketball. They're up by three. Mobley puts it on the floor. Hangs and hits. Wow. All that seven feet tall. The coordination. I mean, it's just really steady and smooth. But that's the thing. The coordination, but also the poise. Here's a seven footer bringing the ball up the court. And that's one thing a lot of guys can dribble. So congratulations. But do they have the poise to take the pressure, spin dribble, get to the Only one of the best in the land, and at least a quick glance. One game and about three and a half minutes. I get yeah. it. You know, just could knock it down. USC by three. UConn basketball. Book night gets another. And that can't be the game plan. Think about that run, Kemba Walker. Yeah. I mean, that was that was what this generation at least thinks right, of. That's so right. it it is it does make the most sense that they're back in the the Big East, and and I feel like even this generation looks at it and says, well, yeah, that's where they belong. I I would say probably two year Big Ten title last year. I, I almost feel like for Maryland fans, as long as it's yeah, it feels. It doesn't feel like anybody's really, I mean, yes, UConn's up, but it doesn't feel like anybody's really done anything to establish themselves. It's just communicating as well as they did last game for SC defensively. Book Knight had his shot rejected. Here's Peterson. Give off Mobley. And he's fouled. And Evan will go to the Book Knight here, floater, that'll go. He's just, he's got a special by nine looking for more. Now book that. Inside, had it rejected. Martin collects. Martin a much better offensive player. And again, no Ethan Anderson out uh, with a back issue for this game. Mobley gets inside, and that little jump hook is good. Holly rejected by Evan Mobley. They knew he was going to impact the game defensively to test that shot. And it's a shot clock violation as Book Knight schools a met. They heat back with a foot injury that caused him to miss a single game. Book Knight and plus one will go to the line. I mean, he's, he's done it from, again, you don't have to be Dr. James Naismith to know short corner high post against the zone, but he's got into spots. Where he's just dangerous. That's simple pump fake and going up against the best shot blocker on the floor still finds a way to finish. He does. He, he's just got a good feel for the game. And eventually moved on to finish up in Massachusetts at the McDuffie School. Mobley inside. In close, couldn't hit. Mobley the rebound and puts it in. That was aggressive. Offensive rebound and put back. Floor and, and get your own offense. By the way, the last seven and a half minutes, it's 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, yes. More good analysis coming your way. Yes. I, I mean, look, I, yeah. <laughs> yes. We got another game coming, too. I love you. Peterson gets inside, no call, kicked out, Bauman, that's a three, rebound, Mobley a three, can't do it, they had multiple cracks at it, and UConn hangs on to